A warm welcome to all our viewers. In today's video, we delve into a crucial health topic, colon cancer, also known as colorectal cancer. This is a concern that touches almost 2 million new individuals each year, making it one of the most commonly diagnosed cancers globally. Awareness is our most powerful tool in combating this disease. Understanding its signs and symptoms is vital for early detection, which can significantly improve treatment outcomes. Stay tuned as we discuss the signs of colon cancer that you should not ignore. One of the most noticeable signs of colon cancer is a change in bowel habits. When we talk about changes in bowel habits, we're referring to a few distinct alterations that might occur. Firstly, this could manifest as persistent diarrhea or constipation. You might find yourself making frequent trips to the bathroom or struggling to pass stool. Secondly, there could be a visible change in the consistency or shape of your stool. For instance, you may start to notice that your stools are narrower than usual. This is due to the tumor in the colon which restricts the passage of the stool, causing it to change shape. The key here is persistence. Everyone experiences occasional digestive issues, but if these symptoms persist for several weeks, it's a clear sign that something isn't right. If you notice these changes, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. They can help identify the cause of these changes and take necessary steps for diagnosis and treatment. Another red flag is rectal bleeding or blood in your stool. This may appear as bright red or very dark blood. The sight can be quite alarming, but it's important not to panic. Instead, take it as a signal from your body that something might be off. The blood could be coming from anywhere in your digestive tract, from your mouth to your anus. While it can be a symptom of less serious conditions like hemorrhoids or small tears in the anus, it can also be a sign of colon cancer. The key here is that if you experience rectal bleeding without any apparent reason, it's crucial to seek medical attention. A healthcare professional can provide a proper diagnosis and recommend appropriate treatment. Rectal bleeding or blood in stool is not something to be brushed off or taken lightly. Don't ignore these signs. They could be indicative of a serious health issue. A persistent abdominal discomfort, a feeling that your bowel doesn't empty completely, weakness, fatigue, and unexplained weight loss are other symptoms to be aware of. Let's delve into these symptoms a bit more. Persistent abdominal discomfort is not something to be brushed under the rug. It can present as cramps, gas, or pain in the abdomen. You might also experience a feeling of fullness or bloating, even when you haven't eaten much. This persistent discomfort could be a sign of something more serious, such as colon cancer. Next, the sensation that your bowel doesn't empty completely can be rather disconcerting. Despite having a bowel movement, you may still feel a constant urge to go. This feeling can be a sign of an obstruction in the colon, possibly caused by a tumor. Additionally, unexplained weakness or fatigue is another symptom that shouldn't be ignored. This can be a possible result of anemia caused by internal bleeding, which could be a symptom of colon cancer. You might find yourself feeling drained or lethargic without any apparent reason. Lastly, if you're losing weight without a change in your diet or exercise habits, it's important to take note. Unexplained weight loss can be a sign of many different health conditions, including colon cancer. It could be a result of cancer cells using up your body's energy resources, or it could be due to the fact that a tumor in the colon can cause a decrease in appetite, leading to weight loss. Remember, these symptoms may not always indicate colon cancer, but it's better to be safe and seek medical advice. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional. They can provide guidance and recommend diagnostic tests if necessary. By being attentive to your body's signals, you can detect potential health issues early and take steps towards successful treatment. Don't ignore what your body is trying to tell you. Your health is of utmost importance. Now, let's turn our attention to the risk factors that might increase the likelihood of developing colon cancer. The first risk factor is age. Although colon cancer can occur at any age, it is most commonly diagnosed in people over 50. Therefore, it's important to be extra vigilant about screenings as you get older. The second risk factor is a family history of colorectal cancer or polyps. If your parents, siblings, or children have had this disease, you are more likely to develop it yourself. On a similar note, a personal history of inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, can also increase your risk. Next, we have certain genetic syndromes, such as Lynch syndrome, which can predispose an individual to colorectal cancer. If you have a known genetic predisposition, your healthcare provider may recommend more frequent or earlier screenings. Now let's talk about lifestyle factors. 
A diet high in red or processed meats and low in fruits and vegetables can contribute to the risk of colon cancer. Remember, your body thrives on a balanced diet rich in whole foods and nutrients. Physical activity, or rather the lack of it, is another critical risk factor. A sedentary lifestyle can contribute to obesity, which is a significant risk factor for colon cancer. So, it's important to get moving and keep your weight in check. Next up, we have smoking and heavy alcohol use. Both of these habits can significantly increase your risk of developing colon cancer. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best things you can do for your overall health. And if you drink alcohol, doing so in moderation is key. Being aware of these risk factors can help you make lifestyle changes to reduce your risk. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about your risk, the more proactive you can be in protecting your health. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms we've discussed, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. So when should you make that call? The answer is simple. As soon as you notice anything unusual, whether it's a change in your bowel habits, rectal bleeding, persistent abdominal discomfort, fatigue, or unexplained weight loss, don't wait. Early detection is key in managing colon cancer. The sooner it's caught, the better the chances of successful treatment. Regular screenings such as colonoscopies should be a part of your healthcare routine, especially if you're over 50 or have a family history of colorectal cancer. But what can you expect when you see your doctor? Well, they may recommend a few diagnostic tests to determine the cause of your symptoms. A colonoscopy, for instance, allows your doctor to examine the inside of your colon. Stool tests can check for blood or other signs of cancer. Imaging studies like CT scans can provide a detailed view of your colon and rectum. Remember, these tests are crucial in catching colon cancer early. They might seem intimidating, but they're designed to keep you healthy. So don't ignore your body's signals. If something feels off, reach out to your doctor. It's always better to be safe than sorry. And never forget, remember, early detection can significantly improve the prognosis. In conclusion, regular screenings and being attentive to your body's signals are key steps in preventing and effectively treating colon cancer. To recap, colorectal cancer, one of the most commonly diagnosed cancers worldwide, presents with several symptoms that should never be taken lightly. These include changes in bowel habits such as persistent diarrhea or constipation, rectal bleeding or blood in your stool, and persistent abdominal discomfort. The sensation of an incomplete bowel movement, unexplained weakness or fatigue, sudden weight loss, and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia like pale skin, dizziness, or shortness of breath are also indicators. Not to forget persistent nausea or vomiting that can't be linked to other causes. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional immediately. Being aware of risk factors can also help in early detection and prevention. This includes age, with those over 50 being more susceptible, a family history of colorectal cancer or polyps, a personal history of inflammatory bowel disease, certain genetic syndromes, a diet high in red or processed meats and low in fruits and vegetables, a sedentary lifestyle, obesity, smoking, and heavy alcohol use. Remember, Early detection is vital for successful treatment. If you fall into the high-risk category, especially those over 50 or with a family history of colorectal cancer, regular screenings such as colonoscopies, stool tests, or imaging studies can make a significant difference in your prognosis. Let's not ignore the telltale signs our bodies give us. It's time we prioritize our health and take proactive measures in preventing diseases like colon cancer. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell for future videos. Share this video if you found it valuable. Stay healthy, stay informed.